All right, hello there. I am Puppo One, and this is Royal Arena Star Royale. And basically, for whatever reason, the phone was well, not the phone, but the um the connection for matches was acting up, so I haven't recorded in a while. But I'm basically at the freaking end of this, as you can tell right there. And like, let's just go. I'm finna have the final card that I'm supposed to be able to unlock, which is this right here. But these are the characters, so I got all the characters and stuff like that. Basically, we're gonna play with each character, I guess, either once or twice or something like that. Now, uh, if it gets 10, we'll play with it again or like that. But this is how my, I got my character set up for one like that. So this is the Skeleton King. Which is pretty much my favorite character to play with, but it's what it is with all of that. Basically, he siphons help from, he's a life stealer or whatever like that. That's what his main thing is with you play with this character, so he can steal people's health and stuff. And that's why, with this character in particular, you should always take the flame walk right here. Because, you know, you can... It's a defensive move, you know, to travel, to get away and stuff like that. But if people are following you, you can gain back health and stuff if you're low on health. If they decide to follow straight behind you and stuff. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah, it just hasn't been working out that well with the game and whatnot. So I just haven't been on here. Because, like, for the longest time, it kept on kicking me out of matches as they start. And we're gonna let the game start wherever it starts and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not even really gonna worry about too much of any of that stuff. Yeah. I can level up this character, but I can't until I get 4,000. Yeah. I like to take the ones that could I like to take the moves that not only hit but can also like pass through stuff 
Oh, wait, I should have took the snowball, because I already got... Like, the thing is, what I like to do is I like to take an AOE attack along with something else. You know, so I should have took the ball. I should have took the ball. I might take the attack. Stuff, so I got everything that's everything. It only took me however like that. But like that stuff is not the problem. 
my only problem with this game is that I hope because like the game hasn't been out for too long. It's not even been a whole year since this game has came out on the Google Play Store. So. I get that like the um the reason that they show that stuff is not that you can actually get that it's just it's just for advertisement purposes and stuff like that but show me what I can actually potentially win by playing your supposed cash app game I should, I should have said it like that because there's actually an app called cash app but like you know your your earning <laughs> Be better. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
saying copyright when I try to play music. I tried to do the what's the music with the um what was it called? Um Cage Mo Monster Cage something. I forget what it's called exactly. But it's basically just background music or whatever like that. And I tried to do that with the first part, but it says like something <laughs> Copyright claim. Yeah. I think it will do that no matter what type of sound I put in the background or whatever like that. Because they already checked to see what the heck it is. It just automatically put that stuff on there until you or you like ask some of them why they put it on there then they may change it or they'll keep it the way it is or something i don't really care because i'm not getting enough views or anything like that to be making money off of youtube in the first place one day it happens. <laughs> I think I did PW, the, the PW title. Oh, I haven't um uploaded that. Yeah, that's right. I haven't uploaded it yet. I gotta record. I gotta go on the other phone to record the other one though. The um, what am I on? The MMA title and the Absolute title, and then the Fight for Gold champion gets the challenge, whoever he wants. Yeah. All right, that's the next video I'm supposed to be uploading anyway. Yeah, I'm going back to look at at least one or two videos before I, um, you know, do the unlock stuff. Because these crates don't give you nothing anyway. I think I only had one gold crate before, but I used to get a ton of the um, mystical crates, which is the purple crates, which is the one that's worth the most, or whatever like that. But, but that was that was a while ago. <laughs> In a freaking month to get all the way to the very end, which is not bad because you want to unlock all the cards and stuff like that. I just wish there was like, I hope this thing right here with the little luck thing is for like, you know, a 1v1 match or a team battle or something. But it's probably not, but who knows where it could be. Because there's a lock at the top and the bottom. Is this the next character? Yeah. Alright. So I guess that's better for this character. I forgot what it used to be for the character. Because I'm pretty sure I used to have the ice ball. But then right here was probably something else. Probably was the regular Thunderbolt, but I don't really like that no more. Anyway, it's good the way it is. Alright, next. <laughs> Character. Other than that, if I get less than 10 or if I die, I'll redo it the match. Or if I decide to change it up because I don't like the way I'm playing with the character, then I'll probably play with it again. But at least this character is like <laughs>
can't stop playing this game, guys. First choice, so cool. Isaacs, want it. Oh, but I need to try all my achievements now. No worries. Next one, wings. Very cool. Don't you think so? Oh, yeah. I'm a cool guy with a skateboard now. And let's see what's next. Yeah, I win. My pack of inventory is really great. Check out your inventory in Pocket Champs. tried it before. Alright, so I was over. time he was still alive and shit like it's like if he's still alive I just come up to him that's 
sound is annoying as fuck. It's funny, but it's but you just hear it every time it's like it's annoying. We're gonna do it like this, and then we're gonna do a different one with the fire one. Yeah. difference between the dash and the teleport Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep the one the way I have it already. Yeah. character in the future if you want to get a first character.
the best thing about the game is like, like no matter what level, how level up people get their characters, abilities, to be and stuff like that. Like with so with like with most characters, even though they don't tell you what like what level of the person you're facing against is, like if they're low on like armor, and you see they still got like two thousand. 2500 plus HP or something like that you know that they're freaking pretty high up there like I'm a seven but my next one would make me an eight and stuff like that so that's how you can kind of differential like with their levels and stuff like that like if it's 3000 or higher they're if they're 3000 with just health with no armor that means they're level 10 which means their attacks is going to be doing a bunch of damage to whoever they're going against this stuff. Hmm. You know, we're not even gonna worry about those this stuff. Yeah. I did that because we're not for to watch no more videos at this. For to play with this one, like, this is my go-to, but we're gonna do it with this one first. This version of it first. And then we're gonna play with my go-to for this character. And then we're, and that'll be the end of the video because it's already yeah, it's gonna be almost fifty-five minutes or so. Just under an hour for part five. Yeah, that's this a mod upload the um PW divisions title maps and other videos and stuff. I still yet to record anything else on the old phone. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
match it. Fuck. <laughs> Thing, I try to get the poison one, but I have to. It starts acting up next time I try to record, I'll just be playing it, but that was just to show you that we could go all the way to the beginning. Yeah, I got all of them. Some things you unlock there. Nine times out of ten, you unlock characters on here. Like, which ones? Yeah, see. I think the last two you put a lock on here. The other ones you unlock with the actual cards that you saw before. And stuff like that. But if anything, I'll go through cards and stuff like that. So this is one of my favorites that you just saw. I only really like the flame arrow with the um, 
fire guy because you can do it's a range it it basically works like the poison arrow but better the, the flame arrow has thirty has what it has three hundred and thirty one points I mean points of damage whereas the poison arrow only has you know a third of that well a little bit over a third of that but still it's um yeah way over a third of that yeah but it lasts for three minutes so it'll add up to the same thing but with with the fire damage the extra fire damage 21 damage per second and the duration is for two seconds you get the extra little bit of damage with that so that's the difference why i like the flame arrow but it's only with this character though no other character i care to take the flame arrow the ice arrow i could take that with any character or freezing arrow as it says that one i could take with anybody because it slows people down as well as and it does about the same as the fire arrow except for it slows people down as well so that one's pretty good to take or whatever like that Flame Walk, I like it for him, I like it for this character, and I would use it for him, but I like Teleport better, yeah. But mainly for him, because, you know, it's a good defensive thing, like, if you're running away, you can still be doing damage if they're running directly behind you. That way, that that's the reason why if you're going to chase somebody down, you run to the side of them, not directly behind them. And also... It's good for like opening up the um, those little crate things. So you can just do a little flame walk around the crate, and it'll help open it up quicker and stuff. These arrows I don't really use. These arrows are good, but I don't pretend to use them because of the range on them. Same thing goes for this. The range ain't that good, but this does a lot of damage. But it's a level two. If it was a level one. And did half that damage, I'll still probably think about using that, but no. To me, the double fireball is definitely not worth using. Even though it does good damage or whatever like that. But I could just use the regular one. You know? It's just two fireballs in a row. Which still gonna do the same amount of mana. No matter if you shoot one or two of them in. So that's why I use that one. That's why this one hasn't been upgraded past you know, level 5. All my abilities will be upgraded to at least level 5. But past level 5, no. Unless it's just automatically already past level 5. I don't really care to do that. The meteorite, as you just saw, is good. But like, it takes a minute for it to fall down. And they more likely because you know you get to see the aoe they can move out the way of it and this one is good as well but as you see i don't really have too much of anything that can support it and i usually take that with him poison arrow is okay but like if you're trying to get a lot of kills you might as well go with something other than this Matt, this um setup or whatever like that I would prefer to go with possibly this with either the fireball or the fire arrow instead. But that's just what I think. This does a lot of damage. Well, it doesn't do too much damage, but it doesn't have too much range either. I like the way they give you good range along with the damage and stuff like that. But this one's good because not only does it doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't do that much damage, but it does enough, and it has way better range. Also, it can pass through, you know, structures and stuff like that. So it can, and it can hit multiple people. If it can pass through multiple structures, it can hit multiple characters at the same time. You know, this is probably the best for movement. Period is because like how far you could go. Like, let's say you're trapped inside the Ring of Death or whatever like that. If you're inside the Ring of Death, this is the best possible scenario for you to get out of the ring of death the teleport is only gonna let you teleport for s such a distance this lets you get a good distance and on top of that you get a 
two second speed boost afterwards. So this is the best for that type of stuff for movement in me in my opinion. This is a unstable armor. Like the 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 damage you take while having armor of sig of shock way out that hurts whoever was attacking you. This is pretty good for like when you're low on health and stuff like that. But like I, I still don't like using it because like I want to have like a lot of health left but not too much health left and I'll probably take like three stacks of these and then I can hurt people back but if I were to use that it will only be used with this character right here you know because I need to get I need to be able to get health back from using this not just do damage but get health back from using the armor so that's the only character I would take with that. It's him right there. This is the lightning strike. I mean the thunder strike. Lightning, thunder, who cares? Same difference. Well, to me, thunder is the sound and lightning is, you know, the actual electricity and stuff like that. And this just sends out four of them as you saw before. Yeah. This right here is the shock way it pushes them back. This is cool for like um like the crates are like in like the um like in the lava pit area or whatever like that. You could push those crates into the fire with this to help, you know, do the damage if you want to. Also it's good for pushing people into the ring of death and stuff like that. Or pushing them away from health. Like stopping people from getting health, you could push them away from it. You know, and keep them away from it. Especially if you need the help just as much as them. You can push them away from it again before they can. But, the one thing to remember about the shockwave is like, if they're right, if it, they're in close range of you, right next to you, it's not going to work. There has to be a slight distance between you and the opponent for it to work. And this one is pretty freaking good. This right here. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I was going to use it with health. Yeah. Because I use that to that. That's that. that, that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it got to be him. Let's see. That right there. Right there. What would be the other thing? Because I have to use something else. God damn it. Another. Ice arrow. Well, I, no, I got one character to use Ice Arrow. That's him, Bill. Let's see something. <laughs> Five minutes, probably gonna be an hour and ten, if not a little bit more.
before we get out of here. That will be the next video that I'm going to do the part with the okay. Damn it. Yeah, this will be the next one. And I have something I have to show you for this because I actually found the way to actually... Wait, is this still recording? The word of... I swear. Where is the goddamn dot at? There we go. I have something to show you for that game. Well, this game in particular. The, um... Infinite Souls or whatever like that. It's called Infinity Souls, but like... I have to show you something for it. You'll be surprised, and that'll be the very next video after I stop this one. So to the next one, and everything else, and I don't know how long it's gonna be before I do another recording for this one because I need there to be an update for the freaking game. Like we could go on here. Wait, did I actually lock the game? No, I ain't lock it. Good. Like as I said, September, which is not that far, that not that long ago, and like I said, I've only been around for about a year and a half now. Yeah, since 2001. I mean, 2021. Yeah, June, so about a year and a half. Yeah, hopefully they could make a a dual mode. With a 1v1 and preferably a team battle with three on three or something like that, you know, one of the standard MOBA games or something like that. But I won't. I wouldn't want one of those ones that they make where like you and your little army of characters like you go and battle the other ones. Well, I wouldn't really care. They can if they want to because yeah, I wouldn't really care. So do it however you want to. Yeah, but that's about it. Under that, the game is pretty good. I'm going to keep it with five stars because I do enjoy playing it for the most hot, most part. Like, my only thing is, like, I want to do a 1v1 battle with the team battle. And, like, the thing is, they wouldn't have to, you know, they wouldn't have to make a mode that has friendly fire and stuff like that. Wait, is it called friendly fire or... or no, it's it's called friendly fire with the um when you can hit your teammates, right? I haven't played shooter games in who knows how long, but I think it is called friendly fire. But like, were you able to attack your teammates as well? Because then it'll make people play even more strategic with their placement of like AOE attacks and stuff like that. You wouldn't want to place an attack that will hit your teammates and stuff, and even keep it in the battle royale mode. I hate when games have it where, you know, you can use certain attacks and they won't hurt your teammate and then you will hurt, but you can't harm everybody else. Like, explosion shouldn't be the only thing that harms everybody. Everything should harm everybody. Explosions included, you know, like with shooter games and everything like that. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, but um, Infinite Souls will be the next game. I'm going to do it for you for I'm going to do it right now. All right, so until the next one later, hope you enjoy it. Peace out. Oh, I forgot to even press the stop. All right, later. Hope you enjoy. Like the video if you care to. Subscribe if you care to. Later.